This is a story for all your dog owners out there who hate when other dog owners don't clean up their poop. First of all, there's a checklist when you are going to get a dog. You have to feed it, you have to take care of it, you have to bring it to the vet, you have to clean up its poop. Now, I never really wanted a dog, but I knew that you needed to check off all the items on that list if you wanted to get a dog. Because it's kind of a shitty thing to do to turn them into the shelter because the shelters just tend to kill them because there's not enough people that want to adopt them. Dogs are innocent and they don't deserve to suffer because of your shitty human irresponsibility. So that's how I feel and I judge these people that don't check off all the items on the list pretty harshly. So I recently unraveled the mystery of which dog owner was bringing his dog to the dog park and not picking up his poop. We're gonna call this guy uh, Sleeveless Shirt Douchebeard. Okay? When I got to the dog park this morning, I got my opportunity to say something because uh, Sleeveless Shirt Douchebeard was on his phone, uh, presumably looking at hot fluorescent sleeveless shirts on Amazon and, you know, looking at Reddit for the proper way to trim your beard. And normally I'm pretty social when I go to the dog park, but he could tell that something was up with me and he seemed concerned, which is good, I guess, but and he knows what he feels guilty about. I know how guilt works. He knows that I'm on to him, right? So I go down and go to sit on the bench and uh, just sit there and he's getting this cold iciness from me. That's when I smelled it. Uh, his dog had pooped directly in front of the bench and I nearly stepped on it when I was coming in. So he's trying to break the tension. He's talking happy to his dogs, which he doesn't normally do. And he rallies them up to leave and, he, and uh, so he's calling his dog. His dog is actually in front of me and I'm petting him because I don't have a problem with the dog. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to say to him, and I, at this point I've got it, right? I'm, 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 I'm really pissed about this, so I'm, I got it. As soon as he leaves and closes that gate behind him, that's what I'm going to say. But the universe had other plans that day. The dog, when he was calling it, would not come to him. And I'm not making it any better because I'm petting him and stuff like that. Anyway, he's forced to come over and retrieve the dog. So he hooks the leash onto his pretty large dog and turns around and his left flip-flop goes into the pretty large pile of poop that his pretty large dog left right in front of the uh, bench. Now, the poetic justice of this didn't hit me right away. I was just ex so excited that this happened that I wanted to kind of ch add this to what I was going to say. But then it dawned on me. Don't say a word. He's, he uttered a warm goodbye to cold silence from the bench and flip-flopped his way back to his apartment, not noticing that the left and right sides of his foot were slightly warmer than they were before. And he went back into his apartment, uh, his, his apartment absent of any sleeves and full of beard trimmers and things like that. Hopefully one of the units with carpet, hoisted by his own petard in every sense. And the universe righted itself today and humbled me to the glory of the dog poop schadenfreude.